Hey guys, just popping in. This is a um, quick project that I'm going to be starting. Uh, my client purchased this table and thought it would work in her room and she really doesn't don't like the speckling effect on it. So she just uh, commissioned me to paint it solid black. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a quick... Um, a quick flip and paint this thing solid black I'm gonna be using um, fusion cold black because I've done other pieces in her room and those are the supplies that she had left uh, so that's what we're gonna do to make sure everything matches I'm gonna use fusion cold black to paint this in um, a solid black color Okay guys, so we are finished with the paint. I did one coat of paint. Uh, I called her and I let her see it. And so we left a little bit of the spackling in it, but it's way, it's much toner. It's toned down a lot. So now we're gonna go ahead on and do a um, sealer on it. I'm doing satin and I'm doing general finishes, high performance satin. And I also put a dab of black paint in it so that, uh, just to make sure that on black it won't get milky. I've showed you before how to paint with a roller, how you have to offload so that you don't have too much product on your roller. And this is how you get a smooth, um, a smooth finish. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so I'm loading up my brush. Offloading, and here we go. My brush, my my roller is damp because this is the roller that I use for the paint. So it is damp. I'm not gonna really, you know, not use a lot of it and try to make it thin. I really wanted um, good coverage. So we're gonna overlap. Overlap, get it on, and you see the little milkiness is what I'm talking about when you're painting over black furniture. Don't worry about it right now because we already know we've tinted our our um our cilla, so we know that it's going to be fine. get it on and then I go over it and make sure everything is nice and smooth out and then you don't want to keep rolling it you want to just let it dry if it needs another coat then you go back and you do another coat So that's that and we just sit and let that dry okay so this is the first coat has been on and it's dry and of course you know I'm gonna do another coat but you can see how smooth the the finish is it doesn't have a lot of lumps and overlapping and stuff like that so um, once you put the next coat on it'll really smooth and even everything out okay